Be kind to your web for his friend, for a duck may be somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends in the swamp, home, where the weather is always damp. You may think that this is the end, but it's... my pause He says I'm done. <laughs> hey, did I ask you to marry me? You did. What'd you say? I said positively no. Can't you remember if you asked me? Uh, I asked so many girls, I didn't know whether I'd honor you or not. <laughs> Will you give me a kiss? Oh, what cheek? It don't make no difference either one. The man I kiss, I'm married. Go ahead. <laughs> the man I'm married must be square, upright, and grand. You don't want a man, you want a piano. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dean, all the men are alive. Well, if that's true, how come women marry three or four? I don't believe I've married the best man on earth. That's what they all say, but they're still building schoolhouses. <laughs> Probably more, I'm married to my aunt. And you better get a divorce. I don't believe in divorces. If all the men treated their wives right, there'd be no divorces. Well, how are you going to treat them since the country went dry? Let's treat them with respect. <laughs> there ain't none in this town. <laughs> men's bonus is for what good? And women's bonus is for dry goods. Isn't it the women who sew all the buttons on the men's clothes? Gee, lady, if it wasn't for the women, we wouldn't have to wear no clothes. <laughs> a mere man proposed to me last night. What did he propose? He wanted to marry me. He said my teeth were like the stars. <gasps> Did he mean they come out every night? <laughs> <laughs> they are all my own. Oh, I guess you got them paid for then, huh? <laughs> hey, a man told me you changed the color of your hair every week. It's false. I wouldn't have thunk you. My aunt wears a wig, too. I want you to understand, young man, that the hair on my head is just as nature placed it. Nature sure is a wonderful landscape gardener, ain't she? How so? She picked out a pretty place to put that hair. <laughs> Are you kidding me or trying to show me a good time? Oh, if Ziggy penny my 50 cents, I'd show you a good time. What do you do when you're not here? <laughs> I work out of the pickle factory. I'm a pickle shaver. <laughs> what? You know, I'm the fellow that shaves the warts off in the pickles. <laughs> Smooth job, huh? Is <laughs> that all you do? <laughs> well, just about. Sometimes I'm a salt separator. <laughs> what is a salt separator? <laughs> a salt separator is the fella who takes the pickle brine when they're done with it and then picks out all the pieces of salt with a pair of tweezers. <laughs> that reminds me. Mm. I have a pickle fork with an ivory handle. Can you tell me what would bring back the genuine scent of the natural ivory? <laughs> You ever try getting shampoo? <laughs> or an insinuator. Wrong again? I'm Presbyterian. <laughs> well, you gotta be going. Where are you going? Swimming. Where are you going around here? Down the pool room. Swimming in the pool room? Mm -hmm. Don't you have a lake or a river? We got the smallest river in the world. The smallest river in the world? So small it's only got one bank. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be going. Sure you won't get lonesome? I think not. And you won't marry me? No. Fine. I'm going down to the shirt factory and ask many things she won't marry me. Don't you know that many a poor man can be married just to ask some cool questions? I guess you're right. You ever notice how when a man gets married, he promises to love and honor and obey, and then after he gets married, he finds out he has to. <laughs> well, last night, many fish told me I was the light of her life. Oh, she said you were the light of her life. What'd you do? Went right out and got lit up. <laughs> you know what Shakespeare said to Napoleon. He who has the tape gets run over. <laughs> Gotta go. Ooh, I heard a good, a good one down at the pickle factory this morning. <laughs> Bring it. Okay, it goes. All is not gold that glitters, or what flaps ain't flappers. Understand you don't love me. I would not marry you if you were the only man on earth. I reckon you couldn't if I was, because if I was, I've been grabbed up long ago. <laughs> oh yeah. The director's back. He wants to know how much longer you're gonna be out here. 
It is, and in his business. Hmm. I'm going to sing another song before I go. Why? Wow, got a grudge against the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, but I may be coming down with hepatitis and I think I'm gonna faint So if you want to see me faint, I'll do it happily But wouldn't it be funny or to go and watch a funeral So thank you for the 27 dinner plates and 37 butter knives And 47 paperweights and 57 candle holders I am not getting married But I'm not getting married Till I'm not getting married